Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do something I haven't done in a really long time and this is a shoe declutter. I have been focusing in 2021 on quality over quantity so this is something that definitely needed to happen. I have a couple of pairs of shoes that have seen their final day and they just need to go and I have some others that I know that I don't wear. So if this is your first time here, hello and thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail. My name is Alithia and on this channel we actually talk mostly about perfumes since that is one of my major passions. However, we also do a little bit of minimalism, decluttering, home decor, and some fashion. So if that is your thing, definitely make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button. I would love if you would join my little community. And without further ado, let's get started. So the reason for my declutter is not because I'm looking for a certain number. Obviously, I have more pairs of shoes than anybody really needs. The reason I'm decluttering is because I know that I have pairs in that pile, at least one pair there, and maybe one or two pairs in there that I don't see myself ever wearing. And I just wanna make sure that all the shoes in my collection, like everything else that I have, are things I'm actually going to wear. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the proper thing according to Marie Kondo. I'm going to pull all of my shoes out of the closet, put them there on the floor, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna drink coffee, we're gonna go through them one by one and put a yes and a no pile. And I'm gonna do my best to go with my gut instinct because a lot of times I rationalize keeping shoes and today I'm gonna to be really trying to be ruthless with myself. Okay, so I didn't really bother to count, but I'm going to guess that there's somewhere around 25 pairs of shoes here, maybe 30, I'm not 100% sure, but I've got my coffee with me and yeah, I'm ready to do this. Okay, so let's start off with a pair that I know that I'm gonna be keeping and these are a pair of round toe block heels from Kate Spade. These are super cute. They have the little spades on the little bows and I really like these. They're like semi-dressy, but they're still pretty casual. So I'm definitely going to be holding on to those ones. This pair here, is a pair of ballet flats from Le Chateau. These are faux leather, so unfortunately they're not the greatest quality, but I did get them on a pretty good sale and they're extremely comfortable. Um, they do have like a cushioned sole and these are like my ideal shoe to wear in the summertime when I'm just running out to get groceries or run errands, um, but I still wanna look kind of put together, so I'm definitely gonna keep these ones. This is another pair that I'm gonna be keeping. These ones are from Sam Edelman. They're another ballet flat, obviously, and they're pretty new. I think I've only worn them once or twice. Um, what I really like about them is the little emblem that they have on the toe. I think they're super chic and they were really affordable as well. If you're looking for um, something kind of similar to like Tory Burch, but something that isn't going to be super pricey, but is still pretty good quality and durable, um, I definitely recommend the Sam Edelman shoes. So love these ones. I think I got them from Nordstrom Rack and yeah, you can tell I've worn them. <laughs> I am going to be keeping these ones for sure. These are a pair of espadrille wedge sandals. I think that's what they're called, espadrille wedge sandals. They've got like this material on the side. I'm not even sure what you call that. These are actually brand new. I absolutely love them. I just got them from the Bay and they were also on sale. I really like a shoe like this if I'm wearing a super long maxi dress and I want something to give me a little bit of height. These are another pair that I'm gonna be keeping. These are from Aldo and these are a little, I think two and a half or three inch um, pointy toe pump with a little strap around the ankle and I absolutely love these. I have had these shoes for probably six years and they're just like a faux suede or maybe they're real suede, I'm not sure. They are so comfortable and these things elongate your silhouette and make you look so tall. I love them. They go with every single outfit. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping these ones. A super cute high block heel from Steve Madden with a translucent strap over the toe. I actually really like these ones. Um, I have worn them a couple of times and I do really like like how I feel when I wear them, so I'm gonna be keeping these as well. If you guys haven't noticed the theme, I pretty much go with all neutral colored shoes because they go with every outfit and you can use them in multiple cases instead of having like multiple colored pairs of shoes. So yeah, these are absolutely perfect. They're like a beautiful nude color. Next, we have a pair of high heels. These are my Louboutin high heels. I absolutely love them. Um, these were a gift and they are 
my favorite pair of shoes in my whole collection. Um, these are the ones that I wear when I want to feel a little bit extra and just super sexy. I love these things. Um, I have already gotten so much use out of them and obviously I'm going to be keeping them. And if you're wondering, these ones are not the highest ones. They're not the Socate. I can't remember the name of them, but they are the next step down below the Socate. So they're not like super, super shoe aside to wear, but they are um, still pretty uncomfortable, but they really look amazing. Next, we have a little block heel from Mark Fisher, and these have like the little crisscrossy design over the toe. I actually really like them. Sometimes I think they look a little bit like older lady-ish, but these are actually quite stylish, and they do add a little bit of height, which I like. They're like the perfect kind of compromise between wearing a heel and wearing a flat for the summertime, and I have worn these so much. So yeah, I do really like these, and we are definitely keeping them. Next, we have a pair of flat t-strap sandals from Michael Kors. These are in a gold color. I absolutely love these. You can tell that I've gotten a ton of wear out of them because the bottom of the shoe is super worn out. I've had these for a really long time, but I get so much use out of these. These are like my casual summer sandal, so I don't really usually do plasticky flip-flops. They actually weren't that expensive, and they're beautiful, and because they're gold, they literally go with everything, so yeah, definitely going to be keeping those ones as well. These are a little pair of like um, warm loafers that I got specifically for those days when I have to run out and it is snowing cats and dogs, or I have to shovel snow or something like that, um, so I definitely do need like appropriate winter shoes. So even though these are not the most stylish thing in the world, they are very comfortable and I actually think they're kind of cute. They look like a little kind of a furry flat. I probably will replace them for next year um, just because they're not really my style, but they are really practical for where I live and I do wear them a lot almost every single day. So we're going to keep those ones. So next I have two pairs of shoes that are pretty much identical except for the heel height. Both of these are from Sam Edelman. Um, I absolutely love them. They look a little bit similar to like the Stuart Weitzman shoes, which I think are super classy. These are very affordable. I think a pair of these is about $100, $150 maybe. Um, and I absolutely love them. They're very sexy. I absolutely love like a very minimalist looking chic high heel sandal. Um, this is like my go-to for a dress for the summertime. So these ones are a four inch heel. So I wear these when I'm going out for dinner or going somewhere a little bit fancier. And I wear the three inch heel for other days when I want to be a little bit less extra, um, but still want to look really put together. So maybe going for brunch or something like that. So yeah, definitely keeping both of them. I think that it's important for women to have nude shoes and lots of different varieties of heel heights because then you have something for every occasion. On to my next pair that I really love and these are another block heel with a little almond toe and they have a little cap toe on them. As you can see there is no name. Um, I ordered these actually from China. I was looking for Chanel inspired shoes because ideally I would really love a pair of Chanel cap toes but they're just not quite in my budget right now. Um, one day I would like to treat myself to them but for now these are amazing. So these I think I paid about a hundred dollars for. They are really good quality. They're so comfortable. Um, yeah and I love them. They're just super stylish. These are like my go to when I want to be stylish but still very comfortable. Love them. I get compliments on them all the time. Highly recommend. I will try to find a link and put it down below because people ask me all the time where I get these. So yes, I will link them down below for you guys. And this is our first pair that I will be decluttering. These ones have unfortunately seen their last day. These are a pair. Oh my gosh, they are so dirty. It is embarrassing. These are from Le Chateau. These are a leather ballet flat. I absolutely love these things. When they were new, they were so cute. They have that little detail on the toe. These are scuffed, like scuffed beyond. I don't feel bad um, decluttering these because I've definitely got my wear out of them. And I think I even got these on sale like three or four years ago for $30. So excellent quality, um, but they do have to go. They have just seen their last day and I don't think they're repairable. They have scuffs and scratches and they they just honestly look terrible. Also the sole is so worn that these were actually the culprit of a rather nasty fall that I had a couple of months ago so I do need to let these ones go. Next we have my so-called grandma shoes and don't take offense to that you guys there's a lot of young grandmas in this world okay I never mean anything offense um, but these definitely are not the most attractive sexy type of shoe. These are actually my work shoes. These are a pair of nursemates. 
and I can't remember I think they're called the Libby I will link them down below if you guys want these are so comfortable I know they don't look very nice but yeah I wear them all the time for work and I absolutely love them they are a little bit scuffed um, but overall they do hold up really well and they're non-slip and I just I really like them so I'm a creature of habit um, yeah, keeping them obviously. Okay, so we are making some progress so far I just have a ton of yeses, but I think that I'm doing really well because I absolutely love all of the ones that are yeses and even though I wear mostly nudes I feel like I have a pretty good variety of like shoes for every occasion, especially living in Canada um, Sadly, I do only have one pair in the no section so far, but don't worry there are more no's in here I think so let's continue the next pair is one that I actually purchased on impulse and these are a pair of Steve Madden's. They are quite low. Um, they do have like a transparent thing over the toes. I kind of like them. I'm a little bit undecided about these ones. I honestly can't really see myself wearing them because they're not really high enough to wear with a maxi dress to give me any real height. And the other thing is too, this plasticky bit here is actually very uncomfortable. I honestly think if I'm going to wear a mid heel or something that like gives me that much um, heel, I'm gonna go with something like those so yeah I think I'm actually gonna pass these on the next pair is another Sam Edelman pair of heeled sandals and again they're just a very minimalistic chic looking pair of black heels so I really like these ones even though I have them in nude there is the odd occasion where my outfit calls for a black shoe and I feel like every woman needs both an open toe and a closed toe black shoe so these are a staple um, I have worn these in so many different outfits and they're so chic and I love them so we're keeping these the next pair is a closed toe black heel and these are just a mid heel I guess I'm not sure if they qualify as a high heel they're three inches these are actually from call it spring I really like them I think that they're really elegant and classy I have worn these with like a really nice kind of an evening white dressy dress and they just look so elegant and timeless I think that it's important for women to have classy shoes that aren't too high and don't make you look super promiscuous or super provocative um, these just really fit the bill they're just so classy they also double as shoes to wear for job interviews and other things like that. So yeah, these are a staple. I have worn them numerous times and I love them. Next up, we have one of my favorite categories of shoes, which is gym shoes. So I am an avid um, gym goer, as you guys probably tell if you watch my Instagram. I'm also a certified um, fitness trainer. So I do love me a nice pair of gym shoes. Um, so I do have two pairs. I have this pair of white Nikes with the little pink Nike swoosh. I think these are super cute. They give me a little bit of height too. These are like the best shoes ever um, if you're looking for a great pair of gym shoes these are called the tangent and I will try to link them down below but they keep on selling out um, I don't know if they have any white ones left but sometimes if I wear a white shirt and like black pants these are just perfect to round out the outfit and I think that nothing looks more chic in the gym than a really nice pair of white sneakers so I love these guys and I also have a pair of black gym shoes these ones are from Under Armour and again they're just super minimalistic and like chic looking they make my feet look nice and small <laughs> which is kind of nice I guess um, they also have this little gold strap over the toe I just think they look awesome I like them a lot um, I fell in love with them the second I put them on so yeah I do wear these ones a lot as well I kind of just coordinate my shoes with my gym outfit and of course I am keeping both pairs Next is another pair of ballet flats. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> these ones are from Sam Edelman. They're from the Circus Collection. I absolutely love it. Again, these are super affordable. These are a leather ballet flat with a little bow on the toe. Um, these obviously have gotten their wear, which is great. When I have a pair of shoes that is getting worn down, that makes me happy actually, because that tells me that I'm actually getting my use out of the shoe. And these are so comfortable. These are like an everyday go-to again, if it's like fall, winter, and I want a darker shoe, but I want something that makes makes me feel slightly put together, not super casual, but not super dressed up. Um, they just fit the bill. They're super classy. And I think I will always have a pair of black ballet flats in my shoe arsenal. So we are definitely keeping these. I wear them all the time. Next, we have a pair of over the knee boots. These are a pair of over the knee black suede boots and these are not super practical i absolutely love them they are from guess i paid i think 90 dollars for them on sale at a dsw which i love shopping at dsw and these are just like a really classy looking black boot they're flat they're very comfortable they look super cute with like um, a skirt and a winter jacket or something if you just have to really quickly run out and you want to look put together 
I absolutely love a knee-high boot. They're just not super practical for Canada because if you get them wet, they do stain very easily. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to like put shoe protector on them and I think they're gonna be um, a staple. Okay, so now we come to two pairs of shoes that I've had again for a really long time. One of them is a pair of Michael Kors um, ballet flats. They are like a faux crocodile I think are snake skin type of shoe. They've got the little Michael Kors emblem. As you can tell, I have worn them a ton because they're a little bit stained um, and they're scuffed at the back, but these are so comfortable and they're so good for like the office or meetings or anything like that if I just have to go in for something for work. And then I have these ones from Call It Spring and these are like my most, I guess, resp I guess responsible looking loafer. Um, I would like to get a nicer pair, but currently I don't really have another pair of loafers to replace these ones. So if I I have to go for some sort of an education day. Um, I do need to have some sort of a sensible pair of shoes to wear. So I'm kind of on the fence about letting those ones go. For now, even though a big part of me wants to get rid of them, I'm gonna hold on to them because I think I will need them. And these ones, it's kind of the same deal. I really like them actually. I feel pretty dressed up when I do wear them and they're super, super comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on to these loafers as well. Okay, so now we come to a rather interesting pair. So these I really like actually. These are a faux Valentino Rockstead high heel. Um, um, they're just kind of like inspired. I guess they're not faux, they're an inspired shoe. Um, so the only issue that I have with these ones, they, they don't look super expensive. The heel is actually quite thick compared to a real Valentino Rockstead. Um, I like them, but I don't wear them very often because quite frankly, I feel kind of cheap when I do wear them. Um, they're not the greatest quality. I basically Googled like Valentino lookalike shoes and these are the ones that I got. So I haven't even really worn them that much and you can see that the back is lifting already. Like they just weren't good quality from the get-go. Um, and and something that I have told myself is that because of my whole quality over quantity thing for my wardrobe, I do want to get a real pair of Valentina Rocksteads. I'm going to treat myself to a pair one of these days. I don't know when, but that is on my wish list. And I think that I will enjoy them so much more and value them so much more if I just finally bite the bullet and get rid of these ones because I just, I honestly don't wear them because I just feel super cheap when I put them on and that's not a good feeling. So I know somebody else out there will get some use out of them. So I am going to pass these guys along. So I have two pairs left and I'm kind of on the fence about these ones and I want to declutter them, but I don't think I'm going to just yet and I'll tell you why. So these shoes I got when I was actually at a mall and Le Chateau was having a closing out sale because I guess all their stores are closing. Um, so these shoes normally retailed for like $100 each and I got them literally for about $15 each. Um, and the reason I bought them was because it was the week before New Year's and COVID had me feeling super cooped up. I was feeling oppressed. <laughs> I'm not even the type of person who goes out to clubs. I don't go out and party. Um, but for some reason, I needed to purchase party shoes. I felt like that was my way of like sticking it to COVID or something. And I know I'm probably not going to wear them, but I feel super sexy in them. I really like them. Um, and I don't have any other like glisteny, glitzy type of shoes at the moment. Um, so I don't want to get rid of them just yet, but I can see them being on the chopping block at some point. I'm not going to get rid of them just yet. I will give them, I think six months to a year. And if I still haven't worn them, then again, I will get rid of them. Um, but right now they're really my only like party type of shoe. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to them for a while and, um, hopefully I wear them. Okay. So that is my shoe declutter. It's not a very big declutter, but again, you guys, I wasn't going for like a specific number. I just wanted to get rid of ones that I knew I wasn't going to wear or don't make me feel good when I wear them and focus on ones that I definitely will wear. And now I'm just going to go ahead and organize them and put them back in the closet.
rid of that many, but I'm happy to look at my collection and see that at least every pair of shoes is something I actually wear. Um, again, those two are going to kind of be debated if I wear them at all this year. Hopefully I do. And yeah, I also left myself a little spot down here where those faux Valentinos were for when I actually get a real pair. So I think that I was going to like switch it up, but I think that seeing that empty space there is going to motivate me to eventually treat myself. Um, so yeah, quality over quantity. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So that was it for today's declutter video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed. If you like this kind of thing, let me know and I can do more declutter videos in the future. And if you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of little tidbits of my life that I don't usually share here on YouTube. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.